Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. One of the companies that has done really well since Apple introduced the Vision Pro headset is Unity. The company was actually mentioned as one of the development partners. And that's gotten a lot of excitement behind the stock again, which has bounced pretty significantly over the last week or so. So is this going to be a huge tailwind for Unity? Well, I think there's reason to be optimistic, but also reason for caution. So that's what I want to get into today. My name is Travis Holliam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And let's go through what was actually covered. So Unity was mentioned as a development partner for Apple's VR headset. This is a natural partner because Unity is actually the game engine that's used to develop most of the games that are on iPhones and iPads. The company's got a 60 or 70% market share in building those kinds of games. So that's natural that you would see them be a development partner for a VR headset. The other thing to think about is that Unity has a vast majority of the market share in other VR headsets. So whether that's Met, the MetaQuest or HTC Vive headset, Unity has always been a natural partner compared to the other big player in the game, which is the Unreal Engine. Now, Unreal recently has gone much higher end. So there's a certain type of game that's going to be moving to something like the Unreal Engine. But Unity has really kept a lot of its market share specifically in spatial computing, VR, XR, that kind of content is really where a lot of Unity developers are. And based on their pricing structure, where people pay for a seat for Unity, the question from a growth standpoint is going to be, does this attract new developers to the Unity ecosystem? And that's where I think, we, and that's where I think we really need to pull back on our expectations. Apple has already said that the number of headsets that they're gonna sell is not real significant as far as Apple goes. So under 500,000 units expected in the first year, and those sales aren't going to begin until 2024. Meta's sales of Quest headsets have really slowed down over the past year. And it's not clear exactly how adoption is going and how game sales are going, given the trajectory with that specific headset. So this could be a business that becomes very sizable over time. Maybe not the size of the smartphone, but maybe more like the size of the iPad and tablets in general. That's, I think, a conceivable future for VR headsets, but we're still talking about five to 10 years to get there. The number of units that are gonna be sold in the next years is going to be in the single digit millions when you include all headsets combined. So that isn't going to be a big enough market to attract a ton of new developers to create content for virtual reality. Maybe we see some incremental gains. Maybe Unity has some pricing power or there's some additional modules that people will buy. But I don't see this specific announcement driving a ton of business, at least in the near term. So that's the framing I think we need to think about this with Unity. The pop in the stock has been great, but this actually looks more like a selling opportunity to me than it does a buying opportunity. Because I think the opportunity for Unity is much, much further down the road and we just simply don't know what it looks like. But do you have different thoughts on the Unity announcement with Apple? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to follow Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.